Dame here and I'm going to be doing swatches on the new Kat Von D mini metal matte palette here. Again, I'm going to do this in like every video probably that I have with this. But this video is going to be for swatches. I did do a look with this. This is what I have in my eyes now. If you guys would like to see that, there is a separate video on my channel, so definitely check that out. But time for some swatches. First off, here is the box here. Looks very similar to how the palette looks. Nice soft matte. You got your ingredients and as well the shade. I love the size of this palette. I find it that it's just perfect. Fits in my hand. I can kind of just look. Huge, huge mirror. Try not to blind you. Then, as you can see on the inside, you got all your metal shades on top and all your matte shades here at the bottom. I personally am a huge fan of how Kat Von D does her matte shades. I love it. My shade and light palette. I was so late to the game for that, and I love that palette. Um, to the point where I got rid of most of my other matte eyeshadow palettes, other than my Too Faced um, PG mattes. I love that palette, but those tones that are in the PG mattes are not in that shade and light palette. So, I do all the matte shades kind of on my arm, and then the like coordinated like shimmer shade on the bottom of it, just so you guys can see here. But first off, let's try this velvet, and it's just a matte burgundy. Ooh, super buttery. And here is that. And then this is Raw Power. Ooh, super creamy. I love that. In comparison, obviously the shimmers are way more creamier in comparison to the matte. But here's the matte and there's the shimmer. Look at that, my fingers. Like, that's insane. Um, next up we have Oak. And this is a beautiful, like, dark matte shade here. Dark brown. Might help if I say what it is. Oops. Sorry, my finger was kind of crappy there. And then the correlating thing is the Synergy. Oh, that's super, super creamy. Sorry, mine aren't the prettiest swatches, but you guys see. So there's Oak, and then there's Synergy. Up we have Suede, which is actually one of my favorite shades. I used this today, really liked it. It's like this really soft, like cool tone transition shade. Um, I can see that some skin tones probably wouldn't like that color. However, if you're fair like me, I feel like you really would like that. And that's that. And the matching shade for that is, I don't know if you want to say Dose, Dose. I don't know how you want to say it, but it's D-O-C-E. Everyone's got different opinions on how to pronounce things. So I leave it up to the viewers and you guys personally to decide. Oh, this one is so pigmented. I got this on the eyes right now. Guys, it is it is beautiful. And just so you know, when I did my eye look today, I didn't need my Fix Plus. I had it ready thinking I was going to need it for my middle shades. No. Next up was Feather. This is a really unique shade. I used it as like a transition and also as my like blending one for like between my transition and my brow bone highlight. And this was so perfect. Especially if you have fair skin, this is perfect. And I've never, ever seen a color like this. It's really unique. And that's that, and I really, really love it. At first I was like, that's weird, but it's beautiful. Uh, next up is Splash, and it's kind of like a gold. Again, super pigmented. These, like, these metals, they came to play. They came to play. And if you guys know, I'm going to take my time and go over it slowly. And last but not least is Bone. Pretty much like a matte off-white. And Kat Von D is my favorite for those light or white matte shades. And here's that. It's really hard to see on my skin tone. I'm really fair complected, but here's that. And then the shade with that above it is Thunderstruck. And this is actually kind of duochrome and really awesome. Like, it looks like it'd just be white, but if you actually... I don't know if it's going to pick up the light right, but... If you actually move, and that's that shade down here, you can see, like, it looks pink or gold in some shifts. Like, like right here, it looks gold, and if I move it just slightly this way, it looks pink. And then if I look at it like this, it looks kind of white. It's really cool. I got that in my inner corner right now, and I'm living for that shade. Like, like she should honestly make a single in that shade. I don't know, maybe she does. I'll have to look. I, I don't have any of her singles, and I've never checked them out, but if she does... I would buy that because that is freaking awesome. But yeah, that is that one. I wanted to wipe off my swatchy fingers here. But again, let's go over some of these tones here. I think this is beautiful. Like, the mattes are very true to exactly almost how you see in the palette. The 
the shimmers are pretty much right on. They're right on the money. I know it's hard to see bone and like thunderstruck here on the end because I'm so fair. How beautiful, beautiful eyeshadows. I really love these. I think these are Honestly, these are gorgeous. I'm going to be doing a look using the burgundy, probably in these darker tones. But the few videos I did see, everybody seemed to go for that, which is why I wanted to go for this more, like, orangey and, like, gold look for people to see another side of the spectrum here. But this palette so far, guys, I'm really liking it so far. I know it's too early to tell just yet, so this is not a full-on review. Just putting that as a disclaimer, it's not a full-on review. However, so far, I'm, I'm really happy and excited and really happy with my purchase. But we will see how these last, if there's anything weird with it, so. But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoy. And if you guys love to see how I got this look again, definitely check it out on my channel. Uh, don't forget to subscribe, and new videos come out every week. Thanks, guys. Bye.